Hey guys! It's June, which means it's time to talk about May. And as always, here's my first topic, updates and announcement. And as you might see, I'm still in my room, so nothing changed at all. Last month I told you that my fiancé and I were searching for an apartment for us together, so that we can live together at last. And the one apartment we wanted, we didn't get, so that it was kind of disappointing, but we kept on searching and now we got an even better flat which is even more to the center of Stuttgart and is even bigger for the same price and is really beautiful. It has high ceilings which I just so am so in love with high ceilings. It just gives you such a nice feeling in your room and yeah I'm really really happy that we got this apartment at first I was really disappointed about the whole thing that we didn't get the flat we wanted but then it was for the better so we could get this other flat and yeah so I will moving out next month so the next video about next month will be in the new flat if I have time to do it you know I have many things going on wedding preparation my exams were still which are still going on and so on so but yeah <laughs> so next topic special activities and this time I didn't have to time to do bigger things I had much going on with all the stuff but I want to talk with you about some smaller thing I did which is miniature golf so everyone knows miniature golf you should know miniature golf and you can do it almost in every town and if we've been to a smaller miniature golf park or whatever you will want to call that and um, yeah it's just a thing which if you have a bit free time and I didn't have that much free time so I just thought it was a nice day and uh, we had some time left I been through my studying and I said now I need to chill out because if you're too stressed for the exams they won't be good either and yeah I just said to my fiance let's go do some smaller thing and then I said yeah when you never we never did a miniature golf so we did and it was really fun and I would recommend to do this if you have a small amount of time if you don't want to spend that much time on something and if a miniature golf park is near you it's just some smaller thing you can do and it's really nice for summer maybe not if it's too hot but if it's just warm and um, if it's a nice weather it's really good and it makes so much fun so just a smaller thing to the next topic which is my favorite item of the month and this time I bought something smaller and it's a book but I didn't do it uh, on the reading thing because it's a book for recipes so it's a cocktail recipe book so here are some recipes for cocktails of course <laughs> it was a, a really cheap book but I liked the layout and I liked the design and and it has almost every cocktail I like in it because my favorite cocktail is um, sex on the beach <laughs> I know it's always funny when the waiter asks what you do want and uh, you say sex on the beach but this is my favorite cocktail because it's few it's sweet and fruity and that's the thing I liked I like it when cocktails are with much fruits and a bit sweet but also a bit sour so I like the mix of sour and sweet I did search for a cocktail book for a longer time and most of them hadn't sex on the beach on the list although it's a really common cocktail so I never understood why so many cocktail bo recipe books don't have it in there but maybe because it's too common I don't know but this one had it in and so many different other cocktails I don't know if it if uh, I don't know if it's the best cocktail recipes I didn't try them out I didn't have time but I want to soon uh, maybe when I'm doing my moving out new flat party if I have time to do something like that maybe I will try out some cocktail recipes in here but I think it was just a cheap purchase and even if the cocktails recipe aren't that good you didn't spend that much money on it and it's really nice looking which I always think a cooking book 
has to look nice otherwise you don't want to do the recipe in if there are pictures on stuff which doesn't look good you don't want to do the recipe so yeah this is always one thing for me recipe books have to to have good recipe in it but also have to be nice looking in order that you want to do the stuff in it and yeah so also something for the summer and I will leave a link where to buy it on the description if um, if you can buy it online I don't know it's from a um, decoration store which has also some lifestyle stuff and butlers I don't know if it the uh, brand exists in other countries as well but if it does and if I find it on the shop online we will find a link in the description yeah. so next topic multimedia and this time I went to the cinema to see if you saw my video of the last month you will know what kind of move up I saw it was of course Pirates of the Caribbean 5 Dead Man Tell No Tales or The Ranch of Salazar so yes I saw the movie and I liked it yes <laughs> I liked it I don't um, at first I didn't know what to think about it because the ending is perfect but I didn't know if it, I liked the movie just because of the ending because if you know if you saw the video you might guess how it ends but I don't want to spoil anything for you you maybe know I'm a big Will and Elizabeth fan so you maybe can guess it and I also like the new characters and I also like the story it just felt more like Pirates of the Caribbean than the fourth one did but but some parts of the story I didn't like but overall I think it's a good movie and uh, the only thing I could say which I didn't like that much was Johnny Depp portraying Jack Sparrow. I thought he was kind of lazy portraying him and I thought he didn't want to be the character at all and he didn't felt like Jack Sparrow for me. It just He just felt like a drunk pirate and a dumb drunk pilot but um, Jack Sparrow for me was never dumb. He was drunk and maybe a bit crazy but he was never dumb. He was really intelligent and he maybe had a bit good luck but he was really uh, he always had a plan going on even if it was a crazy plan but this time I felt that he would, would just be dumb and everything was just a coincidence that everything happened as it happened so yeah that's what, one thing I would didn't that like that much of the movie but overall the concept and the new characters were really good and the story was good like I said maybe in the middle there were some parts which a bit could have left out the movie was a bit full but overall it was a good movie and it felt like Paris of Union and it was is it one thing it really is it's funny and entertaining you really laugh a lot during the movie and maybe not the best Paris of Union movie for me it's the first one and the first three three Pirates of the Caribbean movies are better but it is good and it's if it is the end of the Paris saga which I don't know because they talk about a sixth one <laughs> and I don't know what they want to do because I think the ending would be perfect as it is now the ending is better than the ending for the for third one because um, like yeah because it's much more happier so let's see if it there will be a sixth one I will of course see it because the parts of the career movies are just movies I really liked and I really uh, I just kept them close to my heart and so I will see the uh, every movie which they were doing if the main characters are in it if they do something uh, starting a new Pirates franchise with other characters then maybe not but if they have the old characters in I will definitely see it in the next movie if there's a next movie but I would prefer they just would end the series with that because it was a really would be a really good ending and yeah so overall not the best movie but um, <laughs> there was a there was a uh, a big <laughs> a big beetle on my foot so <laughs> oh my god I was screaming <laughs> oh god it's really big <laughs> so um, about the Pirates uh, movies overall the movie was not the best movie but it's entertaining and I liked it a lot and it was a good Pirates movie and 
yeah, I think it would be it would be just a good ending. And yeah, so so now to the next topic, which is reading. And because the whole month was for me a month which was dedicated to pirates and pirates of the Caribbean and summer and so on because we had really good weather and you see it's still good weather and it's really hot and so on I want to show you a book which is one of my favorite books of all time and it, I think it's not that well known because I don't know anyone who knows about it and it's pirates from Cecilia Rees and I got this book I think over 10 years ago when the Pirates of the Caribbean saga was new and my aunt knew that I liked the books and that's why she gifted me this book and it's so good it's really entertaining and it has a beautiful love story and it's also thrilling and really interesting it is a bit like the Pirates movies but it's actually from the same year so um, I don't think the author copied the Pirates books because they came out this, the book and the, move, the, the first movie came out the same year but it ha has some similarities than Pirates and that's why I think I liked it so much so the book starts with Nancy so the whole book is written out of the point of view of Nancy she has to go to the Caribbean to marry a guy which she don't like and she's actually in love with her friend from the childhood, Will. So you see the similarities and he is also really like Will. He's a poor boy but he wants to go to the Navy to achieve that they both can marry. So he doesn't play a big part in it but he is important for her background that um, she's in love with her childhood friend. Nancy's actually from a rich family so you see um, their parents want, don't want them to be together but her father dies and they uh, lose money and so she has to marry a older man which has much money but of course she don't like the, um, the guy and that's why she has to go to Jamaica and at Jamaica she she gets to know the new staff and one of the staff is uh, a black girl see her here her name is Minerva and they both are friends just from the beginning and then there's the time with, where Nancy flees from there she becomes a pirate and flees um, from the marriage and her family and so on so she takes Minerva with them and they have many adventures but the man she should have married follows them and it's a really interesting story and I really liked it and I don't want to tell that much but it's really an adventure book and I liked it it's written out of point of a woman and it's also gives an interesting view on the historical things so it's more historical than the Pirates movies and there are some fantasy things in it but most of the thing is more historical and it feels re more real than the Pirates movies and the love story with her and Will is one of my favorite love story in any books and if you like Paris of the Queen, you really like this book and I will leave down a link where you can buy it. I hope it's still available because I, n I just never saw the book anywhere and every time I tell from this book nobody knows it. So I hope it's still available somewhere and if it is, you will find the link in the description. So this is it for now and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on the matters, write them down in the comments. Also, I want to know if you are a fan of the Pirates movies and if you're a fan of Pirates, then um, just leave it down below. Maybe you know the Pirate book I was talking about. It would be great. The next time I, you won't see this background anymore. So <laughs> let's say goodbye to it. And yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.